Laura Loomer was among the right wingers and conspiracy theorists that Facebook decided to ban recently. Now we can have a discussion about whether or not that makes sense. But before we do it, I think it's important to show you what Loomer's reaction was to this <laughs> ban when she was recently interviewed on Alex Jones's show. Let's take a look. Well, they're just trying to kill us. You wanna know what they're trying to do. They want us dead. And I hate to make it all about myself, but I have been defamed, okay? My life has been destroyed. My life has been ruined, Alex, by people who have defamed me online. I am 25 years old and it will probably be like this for the rest of my life. But what are they doing? I wanna know what people are actually going to do. My life is ruined. Does anybody understand how ruined my life is? I'm sick of it. I don't want to listen to people tell me that I'm a conspiracy theorist. They don't know what it's like to be me. My life is ruined, Alex. No, I understand. I just think you need to go with it. But at least the president is concerned about it. Okay, he's concerned about it, but that's not going to stop the fact that I've lost 90% of my income. That's not going to stop the fact that I literally can't make a living anymore, even though I have a degree. I was valedictorian in college. I graduated top of my class in my journalism program. And I'm sick of it. I'm fighting harder than most conservatives. I'm fighting harder than anybody. And I'm being destroyed. And they mock me and they say I'm some crazy conspiracy. Well, that's what These people don't understand. Like, my life is unlivable at this point in time. Like, what? is the point. My life now, I have to worry about getting murdered by leftists and Muslims every single time oh, I go I know. outside. It's disgusting. Oh, I know, I know, they're so protected, it's so That's sick, it's so sick. Oh my God. <laughs> so much to unpack here because- So good. The reaction from Alex Jones is something that you found interesting. You're gonna comment on it. Yeah. Uh, but before we get to that, I just wanna make a quick serious note. So she's arguing that she's been defamed, mm -hmm. right? But understand whether you agree with what Facebook did or not, she has not been defamed in any way. She has said things that have been horrific towards certain communities, especially Muslims. And she herself has actually defamed people like Representative Ilhan Omar. In one tweet, she said the following, after 9-11, we said never again. Ilhan Omar is only pushing for another 9-11, yeah. right? And she also um, incited violence toward Representative Omar, uh, writing things like, we need some patriots to rise up and protect our constitution so we can prevent the establishment of a caliphate. <laughs> you know, trying to push this narrative that a Muslim lawmaker is gonna push for a caliphate. Obviously, that is not what Representative Omar is doing. So while she's crying her crocodile tears, uh, and arguing that she's being defamed, she has made money from defaming others and inciting violence toward them. So I just wanted to make that serious point. And now let's have fun. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, a, you're a new. I know. Loomer. Yeah, I was just gonna you're say I'm, I'm one day old, knowing who Laura Loomer is. But just a quick survey of the things that she's done to be provocative, to be disruptive. This seems like you know you you dealt it. Deal with it. Right. I you mean, smelt it. I smelt it. So yeah. It. Yeah. I'm. I'm. That's, yeah. Proverbial. I'm right? so bad at proverbs. Anyways, um, uh, there's just so much to dig into. One thing is that if we could at some point get a screen shot, a grab of the image of her on Alex Jones's show and Alex Jones, because then that's like the Facebook 20 year age challenge. <laughs> if she continues to be that riled up, right. that's what she's gonna look like. Yeah. Um, Why are you Jones's <laughs> face. I mean, that's what like he's forty-five years old. She's twenty-five. He looks like he's in his fifties. Anyways, um, she uh, she's been banned by Venmo, PayPal, GoFundMe. I don't know. A couple summers ago, if you guys remember, that Shakespeare in the Park was disrupted. Mm -hmm. It was it, because it was her. She came onto the stage and she said that this play was um, was normalizing political violence against the right during the assassination of Caesar because she said that they were trying to portray Caesar as a Trump like figure and that this was all Shakespeare was propaganda so Shakespeare was you know are you serious yeah makes <laughs> sense uh, you know if you think about it it makes sense I mean uh, I just love Alex Jones's reaction was like Alex Jones is like who is this crazy woman mm -hmm. on my show like I mean if you if your <laughs> rantings make Alex Jones think you're insane then uh, you know it's uh, you're doing a really good job I mean I think it's worth reminding people that Laura Loomer chained herself to Twitter HQ and it's like a 
to protest her banning from Twitter, like she was like Mahatma Gandhi, you know, uh, protesting uh, British colonialism. And uh, and she snuck into Nancy Pelosi's house and camped herself in the backyard to protest immigration. Yeah, that story, I, I was completely unaware of that. <laughs> and I, I have to be honest, I, I can't imagine anyone else getting away with something no. like that. You're, you're trespassing onto private property, the private property of a lawmaker. <laughs> I mean, if that was a person of color, let's keep it real, he or she would be gone. Murdered, yeah. Right, right. And then even if they're trying to walk into their own house, like Henry Louis Gates tried right. to do exactly. in his Cambridge home, they also could potentially be arrested for trespassing. So. Right, right. But let's talk about um, you know who the real victim is, Matha. <laughs> yeah. And the real victim here is poor Laura Loomer. Let's yeah. hear a little more from her. Do people not understand that those of us who have been silenced have actually taken legal action? Oh, I don't think I don't, they get it's a total war. I want people to actually do something. Okay, we need your money. We need your support. Help fund my lawsuit. Give me some money to fund my lawsuits. And that's what this is really about, yeah, yeah. right? Money, money, money. What am I going to do? Please feel sorry for me. This is my livelihood. But no one no one pressured you to put out the type of propaganda, the type of lies, the type of incitement that you put out. Yeah. You did that on your own. And you were warned previously from the very platforms that banned you to just cut it out, cut yeah. it out. We, we want you to stop and if you stop, we're not gonna ban you, but she continued. In fact, uh, let's go to graphic two. An Instagram spokesperson said the company had removed one of Loomer's Instagram stories in which she recorded herself calling Islam, quote, a cancer on humanity for violating its hate speech policy. The spokesperson added that if Loomer continues to violate Instagram's rules, her account could be banned. This is from April of this year. So she had been warned, hey, yo, like, cut it out. And she decided to continue doing it. So I'm tired of the oppression Olympics from the right wing. I mean, I'm. I'm tired of it, yeah, right? Yeah, a bunch Just, of snowflakes. Yeah, you know? exactly. Well, <laughs> you know, what's interesting about this too is that Shakespeare in the park incident where she got up on stage and she knew that she was going to actually be charged, which she was. Six hours prior, there was that website, I think Free Loomer, mm -hmm. was, was bought and was um, activated. And she raised $12,000. To free her, so she's used to getting bailed out all the time for her antics and for getting a lot of media attention for it too, and to kind of come out pretty unscathed. So I think she's dealing with the fact that there are consequences in this world to riling up hate speech. Yeah, I mean everybody knows that yeah. Shakespeare was the original uh, radical Antifa, <laughs> but uh, um, I think I think there is like some there is like some discussion to be had about the appropriateness of. Facebook and Twitter and all these guys like banning right wing political people because what's going to happen in effect is that they're going to end up eventually banning a bunch of left wing people and it happens yeah. all the time. Um, and I don't, qu I haven't quite made up my mind about how what's the best way to do that. So um, I look, of course, we always go back to the difference between the government and private companies. And so, you know, if you want to bring up the Constitution, obviously the Constitution doesn't apply when it comes to private companies. But that doesn't mean that I, I don't. Uh, you know that I agree with what Facebook right. did. So look, for me, there's a, a, a line that that gets crossed by a lot of a lot of right wingers. So hate speech is one thing, and I don't think people should be banned simply for hate speech. Mm -hmm. But I do think that people should be banned for inciting violence, because if you're encouraging your followers to commit acts of violence, well then a even the US Constitution doesn't protect that. And B, I think that these platforms have a responsibility and an obligation to do their part in keeping communities safe. And so yeah. that for me, that is the line. And so that's why I was in favor of someone like Alex Jones getting deplatformed because he had been inciting violence mm -hmm. toward some of these, you know, Sandy Hook parents. And the Posner family had to move seven different times because his fans were constantly going after them, threatening them with acts of violence, and it wasn't okay. Yeah. So for me, again, that's the line. I guess it's just that you know, in, in Facebook and all these companies are private companies, like you said, but the internet is has become sort of the public square, mm -hmm. and the public square that has been essentially dominated by private companies. So it's so it's a very weird kind of situation where there is some. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't made up my mind on it. And like, of course, like inciting violence, like we can all agree that that's wrong. But 
what does inciting violence mean? Like people said that Ilan Omar's comments incited violence. Obviously, we wouldn't think that, but like that's up to the people who are in power to decide, and they'll decide what that means, and they'll often turn that kind of rhetoric against the left. And you know, and that's that's just what we've seen time and time again. So I don't, again, like I don't know what the what the right way to go forward is. I think the question is also if we're operating in this public square scenario. What space are they taking up in the public square? Are they a newspaper stand? Are they a publisher? They're taking money for ads. They're taking money in the traditional way that mm -hmm. a publishing company would as well. And there are standards around what information gets um, um, viral or trends or gets published. So mm -hmm. we haven't been able to determine what these social platforms would be under in terms of jurisdiction. Yes, mm -hmm. that's that's such a good point. And you know, I just want to quickly reference the importance of policies similar to what Elizabeth Warren wants to do, which is to break up these platforms. Yes, yeah. Please. That, because <laughs> if you break up the platforms, understand if you are a publisher of news content, right? right? That is your your main objective as a company. Well, there are certain guidelines and certain laws that you have to adhere to. So for instance, if someone on this show straight up lied about someone else, right? Just slap him in the face. Make <laughs> something up. Well, there are laws protecting the individual who was just defamed. There are defamation laws, right? right? And so in, in that context, there's actual uh, laws that you can refer to. But with Facebook, with Amazon, with all these big companies, they do so many different things right. and they need to be broken up. Yeah. That way they can be dealt with appropriately or the different components of the businesses can be dealt yeah, with. As a first step, it seems crazy that Facebook can own Facebook. Instagram and WhatsApp, right? At the same time, I mean, like that's like a seems like a easy first step in terms of because like, people always ask, well, how do you break them up? Under what's like, well, they keep on acquiring other companies that are enormous. You can just start by re-separating them the way they were in the past. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally agree, and and I do also agree with those who are concerned about what this is doing in hindering conversations that need to be had. Yeah, but again, those conversations that might be controversial. Uh, should be treated very differently from what I've been seeing from some right wing voices where again, they encourage violence or encourage action toward those that they disagree with. Uh, and let me give you a list of uh, Laura Loomer's conspiracy theories because in mm. the middle of her meltdown, she, Fun. she claimed, no, they're calling me a conspiracy theorist. That's not what I am. Okay, that is what you are. Uh, <laughs> here are some of the conspiracy theories uh, that she spread on social media. She claimed that the shooting in Santa Fe, Texas was staged. Mm. She claimed that the shooting in Parkland, Florida was staged. Fun. She claimed that the Las Vegas shooter was affiliated with ISIS, which was not the case. And also that Caesar Sayoc, who was the individual sending pipe bombs to various Democrats and CNN, uh. is affiliated with Antifa when, of course, we all know yeah. that he was a giant Trump supporter. Yeah. His social media accounts and also the van that he was driving around in indicated he was a huge Trump he read supporter. Hamlet, he read Hamlet and became Antifa. Yeah. You know what's really wild about these conspiracy theories about the mass shootings as false flags is that they insist that these are happening to introduce um, gun control laws to get rid of the Second Amendment, and we've not moved an inch <laughs> yeah, around any one. of them. Yeah, I know it's amazing. Uh, the biggest failure of a false flag <laughs> operation. Yeah, the worst. Right? Yeah. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com/app.